Yeah, so in this problem, what it says is that Monk wants to buy some cities and in order to buy cities, he has to buy road also. Right? So what we are given is, we are given number of test cases and in each test case, we are given an edge. So here, first is number of edges 3, 1 to 2. It is saying from 1 to 2, there is a road, 2 to 3, there is a road and then 1 to 3, there is another road. So these are the roads given. So these pairs are representing roads. Now Monk wants to buy cities and in order to buy cities, he has to buy these roads also. So if he buys this road, he will buy city 1 and 3. If he buys this road, he will buy city 3 and 2. If he buys this road, he will have to buy 1 and 2. So ultimately all these roads are what he is buying. So what essentially we can do is when we are going over these roads, 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 1 to 3, what essentially we have to see is how many unique cities he is getting because the answer we have to give is how many cities he buys based on the roads given. Now imagine if the graph would have been 1, 2, 3 and 3 also has an edge to 3 and there is a 4, 3 has an edge to 4, 4 has an edge to 2, 1, this. Even if he buys all these roads, all these edges that we are showing, still he gets to buy these 4 cities only. So essentially we have to look at the endpoints and that to unique endpoints we have to count. So what I can do is I can take a set and I can say take set of int s. Now what will happen is when 1, 2 comes I will insert 1 and 2 both in the set. Then 2, 3 comes I will insert 2 as well as 3 in the set. Now in set the beauty is if you are inserting same element again the duplicates are not inserted. So in the end if you insert all these vertices in the end whatever is the size of set whatever is the number of elements in the set that will become our answer right so this becomes much cleaner and shorter code so we can say s dot insert u and s dot insert v and in the end what we can do is we can print the size of set i can say rather than print it, it's better here we can straightforward use s dot size and i can put a new line here right so this is much cleaner and much smarter code that we see where we have used built-in library. So let's compile and test this process. So let's submit and what we see is all the tests are passing. So this was essentially just counting how many cities have to be bought.